Ahlan and Sahlan, you guys are all very welcome back to another episode of the Base Talk podcast. In this episode, we'll cover perspectives on mental health that have helped me conceptualize and prioritize certain areas in my life. If you happen to be struggling with your own mental health at the moment, I really do hope that whatever topics covered in this episode helps you in some way, shape or form. So without further ado, let's get into it. The first question I'd encourage you to ask yourself is, have you the basics on point when it comes down to your general health and well-being, like your physical activity, your nutrition, your sleep, all aspects that are the foundation for great mental health. And if you're not actively incorporating habits and behaviors that benefit you in those areas, ask yourself, why not? Second is, are you cultivating the right environment for your own personal growth? Analyze the controllable and non-controllable aspects in your environment, whether that's the people you engage with, are they positively affecting you? The career path you've chosen, does it align with your values? If not, can you change it? Uh, A helpful analogy I like to use is, Imagine having a bucket that you're filling full of fresh water, yet you've pierced the end of that bucket, causing a leak. This leak can come in the form of any sort of self-destructive habit or negativity that you may invite or entertain, causing you to leak vital, vital energy that can be put towards, (coughs) towards your own growth. Third is not taking things personal. What really helps with this is understanding that you may have been mistreated by others due to their ignorance or personal circumstances. It may not be a reflection of you per se. You'll eventually experience enough to understand others more in this regard and not attribute one particular behavior to one particular individual and demonize them outright. At the end of the day, we are all human and none of us are infallible. You may have fallen victim to a particular behavior at one point in time, yet you were unaware. So we are all interdependent on one another in some way, shape or form. In scenarios like that, oftentimes it's best to just avoid, distance yourself or ignore. Last but not least, but certainly the most important is having a framework to guide you in life. Islam is my guide and it pretty much has an answer to any question I have in life. Just like having a training program or a nutrition plan, having a clear guide to navigate your way can help you maintain a consistent frame in any scenario. For me, this simplifies everything. Having wisdom that has stood the test of time to refer back to that provides a sense of duty and obligation that encourages you to take full responsibility and accountability for your own situation, your own life, regardless of your circumstance and how you may feel. With all that said, it's time to wrap up this episode. So I hope you've enjoyed it and you've derived some meaning and value from watching. So speak to you guys soon. Yalla, bye bye.